Hey YouTube, it's Foster J finally back with you, and today I have my all Canto birds to show you, so let's jump right into it. So our first battle is against Joe Mama. They have Inteleon, Urshifu, Dragapult, Reggie Drago, Apufini, and Solgaleo. But what you'll see in all the battles in this video is everybody only ever brings three Pokemon against me. Where I have Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. I think everybody thought they were being nice. I was in the casual lobbies, not the ranked lobbies for these battles. So, don't know who they're going to lead with. This is uh, this was actually my first battle with the team. What's Joe Mama using? I don't notice yet that they only have three Pokemon, so I'm playing this as they have six. Oh, and it's a hacker. So I think this battle is very straightforward. They re led with Reggie Drago. I think this was their only uh, hacked mon they used, though. But I think I led with Protect. With the intention of seeing what they were doing, but I got distracted while I was battling and looked away. It happens a couple times when I'm battling, not on uh, stream. So I go, okay, well, and I'm going to jump into Scorching Sands because they're a uh, physical attacker. Still don't think I've clued in that they're using Outrage. Then I thought, I think I looked away yet again here. Outrage ends up taking most of my life away, but I get the burn. Find out they have leftovers. Oh, Shell Bell. They have Shell Bell. So now my burn is going to counteract their Shell Bell. Here I check. Finally see that they're rampaging. I've never seen that it's rampaging for when they're in the middle of Outrage. So I go, oh, okay. So since they're burned and outraging i am safe to send in my articuno who i'm pretty sure i made very defensive might be leaning more especially defensive but i think i thought it was defensive also i know they're trapped so they can't exactly they i think they could switch out but i didn't really care for them switching out They get hit, confused, they get hurt in the burn. They should swap here, but I'm just gonna jam freeze dry. They end up staying in. They get hurt in confusion and freeze dry is going to finish off the Reggie Drake. Thank you for coming out. The crit, pretty sure didn't matter. Never considered running a damage calc on it. We wait. Oh, this was all hacked. Did I keep the wrong? Nah. But I figure out that it's a single strike. Just by the stand. That's right. Am I wrong? I think it's. Hmm. I think I thought it was single strike when really freeze dry would have just been fine I think here I don't think I ever clued into that but now I'll be able to raise my speed with uh, max airstream I don't think I ever noticed that it used surging strikes because I would have swapped into Zapdos here a couple of my battles uh, while I was recording where I was just completely distracted there was stuff going on at the house. But I've been trying to get some content out for you and I finally have an editing software again. So Max Airstream obviously takes that down in one shot. Urshifu, thing can't defend worth anything. Now they send an Inteleon. Don't know why I hit Max Rockfall. Oh, I hit. 
Okay, I guess that was one. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna hit Max Rockfall for some reason, and I don't know why. There is your G Max Inteleon. Yeah, Airstream will do a lot less than I originally thought it would. Hydro Snipe. Pretty sure. Yeah, is going to take down Articuno. No, Articuno survived, so I am especially defensive. And I think this is where I'm like, I'm going to get some residual damage on it, so I'm going to drop the Max Rockfall. Which, honestly, I have Zapdos in the back. I don't know what I was thinking here. Their Max Airstream is going to finish off Articuno. Now I've got an Inteleon that's going to outspeed my last two Pokemon, so I'm a little bit nervous. But I know I still have Zapdos sitting in the back, so I'm going to send out Moltres first here. To suck up their last turn of uh, Dynamax. I can never remember what that is. So all I'm going to end up doing here is clicking Protect. They're going to Snipe Shot it. Moltres is going to go down. Nothing too special happens on this turn. It was just a turn to burn out their Dynamax turns before bringing in Zapdos. Also, I figured if they did anything silly and Moltres hung around, with Safety Goggles won't take any damage from Sandstorm. Now, Moltres has gone down. Inteleon takes a little bit more residual damage from Sandstorm. Zapdos comes out. And the battle is over. Inteleon is going to shrink. Back down to normal. And I'm going to Thunderbolt it whenever. Yeah, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will come down. I'm going to get hit by an Ice Beam. I'm worried about getting frozen here. But I also have Heat Wave to try to thaw, but that does a lot of damage. Thunder, Luckily, no freeze. Thunderbolt's going to take down Inteleon in one shot. Thanks, Joe Mama, for the battle. Too bad you had to use some hacked Pokemon. See that a lot in, the, in, these, in this video. Well, at least while I was recording, I saw a lot. And our second battle of the day is going to be against Lucas. Looks like a fresh account. Probably traded some Pokemon into it. Or did it with the Dynamax Adventures. Because what we see is I don't think any of these Pokemon were trained. So they lead with a Mewtwo. I lead out with Articuno. I think we both end up Dynamaxing on the first turn. I'm gonna... Okay, I just go for the Ancient Power, hoping to get a boost. Mewtwo has Fire Blast. Deals way too little damage to be an EV Train Pokemon. Way too little. If that was an EV Train Mewtwo, that would have knocked out Articuno. Think. Oh, I'll go for another Ancient Power. For some reason, I'm hoping to get some boosts here. Now Articuno is set to go down. I think I just used the last... Oh, I, I go for Roost. I think I was hoping they would miss with um, Fire Blast and I'd be able to roost up and they would run out of Fire Blasts and I'd have more HP. 
We start this off with down one Pokemon. I'm going to send it. I don't know who I'm sending in. We decide on Moltres. Doesn't really matter. I think I was trying to decide what uh, their other Pokemon they might have are. Or what I'd be bringing if I was them. Then Moltres is going to Dynamax and I'm going to Max Quake to increase my special defense here. Making Moltres a very tanky bird. I love that pose for Moltres. I've loved it since original Pokemon Smash. Bam. Like he does a decent amount. My Max Quake. More designed to raise my special defense so I can break through two other Pokemon with Noltres. Mostly I'm using Mul uh, Mewtwo here to set up on. Now I'm going to Max Airstream to get the speed. Whenever they decide to attack. They're going to Dynamax. I think this one's just a max Mindstorm that's not going to do much damage. Yeah, max Mindstorm. Moltres is going to tank that. Airstream surprises me and takes down Mewtwo. Right here, I'm 100% certain this po trainer's Pokemon are not EV trained. And start to feel a little bad for them. But I brought in three EV trained legendary Pokemon into... Um, into, ca into the casual room, hoping that people would either not be EV trained or not be confident enough in their battling to have 6v3, 3v6 battles. So here I'm con contemplating Max Quake to increase my special defense because of Blastoise, which is what I'm going to end up doing here. I actually think Moltres goes on to sweep this fight. Or close to it. Hydro Pump does nothing to Moltres. Moltres holds on like nobody's business. Now I go for Air Slash, and here's what. This could not be meaner, what's about to happen. I'm plus two special defense, plus one speed, Air Slash. Ends up getting us the flinch. And I just... I feel like they're going to disconnect any second now. I go for another air slash. If it doesn't take it out, I'm hoping for the flinch. No flinch. Then it is their Cinderace. Who I'm going to hit with is Scorching Sands. Iron Ball is going to connect. And Moltres holds on with 5 HP. Long enough for Moltres to be able to finish this off. Zapdos doesn't get to be seen in this fight whatsoever. I think I was contemplating swapping to Zapdos. Just because and I was like, nah, just finish it off, Scorching Sands. So, thank you, Lucas, for the battle. Hope you I hope you had fun. 
All right, it's my face again. So uh, I hope you enjoyed these battles. I'm hoping to get some more content out now that I have the editing software. I'm hoping to get better at the editing and everything. Uh, check out the Twitch channel. Check out the previous videos where there's some VGC battles. I'm hoping to get some team team battles, some sweeps going, some competitive VGC battles. Hopefully I can start having some content every day of the week. That probably won't start till next week. And if you haven't yet, follow me on TikTok. I posted about the whole take a day off of streaming thing on there. I'm not going to reiterate myself here. And sorry, that just, it threw me off there. Um, it's all explained on the uh, TikTok. Check out the Twitch streams. They happen every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, unless something has come up. So check out my Twitter. I may remember to post if I'm going to be late or not on Twitter. I have a Discord in the works for people who want to be fans. And yeah, thank you. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe.